today on Be Something Wonderful. This reality creation technique works so fast, it will shock and amaze you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video for you today. One of you reached out and said, Tom, I'm in shock. It's amazing. And you were referring to that just in a few days of you embodying the idea that your experiencing of reality is reality. In other words, the manifested experiences of people, events, and circumstances, both physical people, events, and circumstances, and non-physical thoughts and feelings, are not reality. They're always changing. They're, they're not who you are. It's your experiencing of reality that's reality. Your experiencing of those experiences determines, changes, shapes, rearranges reality and, the, and creates those experiences. Do you get this? Your experiencing itself is reality. And how do you determine your experiencing of reality? By deciding who you are. Your self-concept, who you say you are, determines your entire life experience, or in other words, your experiencing of reality. They really embodied this idea because they were stuck on things with a specific person, things that happened, a third party, a lot of hurt, a lot of, a lot of things were said, right? And creating this idea that time has gone by, two or three years have gone by and, and it's still the same and, and nothing is changing and I'm running out of time. And, and, and then they, one of you was even talking, were, one of you were even talking about money, running out of money. I've never experienced abundance in my life. I'm gonna talk about that today as well. Well, remember, all of those stories, all of those things that you believe you're remembering don't exist in the past. They're, they're not there. There is no horizontal linear past where that exists. You're creating that from your current identity, from who you say you are right now. In other words, from your experiencing of reality right now, all manifested experiences are created all of them and they're always changing just remember thoughts and feelings people events and circumstances are always changing and they're always changing into whatever you choose or decide that your experience of reality is you determine your experiencing of reality and that's your reality but what you're really what we're really talking about is the is your experiencing of ultimate reality of that awareness that you are, of that self-aware knowing or intelligence that you are. You determine all of that. So I wanna talk about these ideas today and more. I wanna start with this comment. It was either on the Facebook group or on the channel that the team picked up and, and thought it would be good to talk about this. And I think it, it really relates to this particular creator that reached out that we're gonna talk again in July that said, you know, um, it's amazing. I'm in shock. In other words, they were talking about their life changing in just a few days and, and, and doing a 180. In other words, them seeing their experiencing of reality changing instantly, immediately. It does because your experiencing is reality. So when you decide that you're going to experience reality differently, reality is different. It has to be, right? This is what one of you wrote. 3D reality feels so solid to me. It just won't move. I've never experienced abundance in my life, no matter how much I want it or imagine it. How do you assume something you've never experienced before without it feeling like a lie? Well, I wanna, there's a lot of things I wanna say about this, but the first thing is there is no before. It's all right now. It's all here. And now, so you're creating that idea that you're, from, you're creating an identity 
that creates a horizontal linear past that's never experienced abundance before. You create that idea now. There is no past where you've never experienced abundance. You're experiencing that now by defining, it you as, defining yourself as someone that's never experienced it. So you create a past, present, and future of that lack, right? And remember, with 3D reality feeling solid to you, you're still putting it outside of you. It, there is no 3D reality out there. It's your experiencing of reality that you're talking about. And that is you. So you get to determine that experiencing. You are 3D reality. There, it's not out there. It doesn't move or not move. 3D reality doesn't move or not move. It, you do. It's you. It's all you that moves or doesn't move. You haven't moved, right? So it's you that feels solid, right? It's your experiencing. You're, you're experiencing right now. You decide how you experience reality. If there's no reality out there that determines your experience. Your experiencing determines reality. Wow, that's powerful. There's no abundance out there to be or to have been experienced. To be experienced or to have been experienced. It's not out there. There is no reality, whether it's 3D or 4D or 5D, of abundance or anything else out there apart from your experiencing of it. Do you see it? It's all you. Your experiencing is all of this. Wow. And your experiencing of reality, past, present, and future, is created by who you say you are. I am your self-concept here and now. Wow. I'm not sure we've ever said that as clear as we have today. This one particular creator that reached out, I'm in shock. It's amazing. Well, it is. It is amazing. And it can be shocking to know that everything changes when you decide who you are, changes your experiencing of reality, which changes your experiences, your manifested experiences. Because remember, your manifested experiences that are always changing, the physical manifested experiences of people, events, and things, and the non-physical experiences of thoughts and feelings are always changing. So they're not real or reality because they're always changing. What's real doesn't change. So, that, so those are always changing. So what's real? You're experiencing as reality and of reality. That's the only reality. And when you decide that, who you are, you decide, how, who is exper you decide how you're experiencing reality, and that changes the manifested experiences, past, present, and future. Right? Do you see? This, you're this source. You're this absolute I am, this, this pure awareness. Being aware, self-aware of yourself as that awareness. And from that, you can decide, who am I? And with the assumption that I am who I am, I am that I am, you can have any experiencing of reality. There's nothing that you have not experienced, are experiencing or will experience. You are all that is. It's all happening right now. You're all of it. And then you create this by answering that question, by knowing who you are. Instead of telling the story that you've never experienced abundance, I'm abundant. I'm, a, I'm healthy, wealthy, free, and in love, as one of you is using as your affirmations. It's also changing your whole life. Then you, from this son of man, this physical experience of deciding who you are, this is your experiencing of reality. That experiencing of reality, of who you are, creates in every moment, and it's always changing, your manifested experiences, past, present, and future. In other words, that horizontal past of manifested experiences, that horizontal present of manifested experiences, that, that, that soon to be manifested future that's already happening now of manifested experiences, all decided from who you are in the vertical. Your concept of self here and now is how you experience reality. 
Do you see it? All that is. Your concept, how you experience all that is, this all that isness, this source that you are, is defined by your self-concept. And your experiencing is reality. That's the only reality. Because ultimate reality is changeless. So how do you determine your reality? By your experiencing as reality and of that ultimate reality. Of that ultimate reality and as that ultimate reality. In other words, your physical and non-physical manifested reality or experience doesn't exist outside of your experiencing of it. Wow. Do you see, we look at all of these manifested experiences, past, present, and to come, as outside of us, right? But they don't exist outside of your experiencing of it. So if you're experiencing it, it's here and now, all of it. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. You're it. That's powerful. That's big. So let's continue. You are pure awareness or ultimate reality of, or God or source, as we talked about, that great I am. And then who and what you are aware of being is how you experience yourself as reality, as that ultimate reality. Remember, God's son, that to be self-aware as that I am awareness is your gift. Right? You, were, you were created in God's image. You can be aware of yourself as that one great awareness or reality. And as you define yourself in the physical experience as the son of man, that experiencing itself is reality, it's all of it. So who and what you're aware of being is how you experience yourself as reality, as ultimate reality. Self-aware intelligence, or I am awareness, the son of God. Therefore, your experiencing as the son of man, as that physical experience, your self-concept, of reality, of that ultimate awareness, is your reality, all of it. You're just experiencing that changeless reality as change, as a manifested experiences. But those manifested experiences are not reality, it's your experiencing of them, of reality that creates it all. Not the changing forms, not the changing appearances, not the changing conditions or of manifested experiences, but your experiencing itself, your self-concept is your experiencing of reality. They're the same. That's the, that is the whole, that, that's a masterclass on self-concept. That your self-concept determines your experiencing of reality. And your experiencing of reality determines, creates, threads together what those manifested experiences are. And whatever they are, you're always in every moment determining your experiencing of them. That's powerful. In the chosen scene that I've talked about a few times now, that one of you posted on the Facebook or on maybe on the channel, it's a conversation that Jesus, your I am awareness, right? The Son of God, the Son of Man, the Son of God and the Son of Man is having with one of his disciples and ask him, hey, why don't you help me out on one of my readings? Will you recommend something? And John says, well, I'm not worthy. Not after today, not after yesterday. This is like some of us bringing up like, well, I'm with my specific person or my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my ex or that person that I love, we've had so much history. We had so many problems or so many third parties. I just don't feel worthy. I don't feel like I'm, I'm with them. I don't feel like I can create this reality. And then the other one on abundance. I've never experienced abundance. So how could I possibly, it feels like a lie. How can I possibly assume that I have abundance? That's John there, right, to Jesus. Well, how can I after today, after yesterday? And then Jesus says to him, your eye awareness, well, who is worthy? In other words, you're all realities. You're already, out, you are outrageously worthy. But then John answers, well, you are, right, to Jesus. And Jesus answers, he goes, John, I'm a man, John. I'm a man. In other words, I, I've experienced all, all that you're experiencing, yet I am who I am. Yet I know that I'm greater than all of those limitations, those perceived limitations, that perceived lack, those perceived manifested experiences. I'm the experiencing it itself. That's what Jesus is saying. I am who I am. I am the experiencing. I am reality. 
My experiencing itself is reality. I determine that. I'm experiencing, so what he was saying, John, I'm a man, John. I'm experiencing all those changing, manifested, physical and non-physical conditions and experiences of people, events and circumstances and thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I'm experiencing all those. But I am the experiencing itself. I am the awareness itself within which all those experiences take place. I'm, much, I'm something much bigger. Yet, he says here, I'm aware, the, the interpretation of it, I'm aware of being something greater than all of those experiences. That's what Jesus was saying there. Yet, I'm aware of being something much greater than all of those experiences. And what is that? What is that? That's the self-concept of I am that awareness. What is awareness but the experiencing of the great I am? Right? The, the Son of God, the first manifestation of God is to be self-aware as that pure awareness. In other words, have the experience of being the great I am, of being God, of being that pure awareness, of being source. And that experiencing is reality. It's experience of that ultimate changeless reality. That's powerful today. Jesus, in this scene of the chosen, gave us a masterclass in, quote, self-concept work. So many talk about working on the self-concept. It's not about working on it. It's about remembering, it's about embodying the idea that who you define yourself as determines your experiencing of ultimate reality, of that awareness that you are. I am that I am. It, that's the whole meaning of that. In other words, I am the experiencing of reality. I am all of it, right? I'm not the manifested experiences. Those are always changing. I'm not my thoughts and feelings. Those are always changing. I'm not my doubts and fears or even my highs and lows, even my joy and my frustration. I'm not any of that. I'm something, something much greater. I'm the awareness within which it all has its being. All right, which it all takes place. I am that source. My experiencing itself is reality. So your experiencing is reality, not the manifested experiences. And you, your self-concept, defines your experiencing all of it. So you're going to say, well, if my experiencing is reality, how do I define my experiencing by who you say you are? And you can, you can define yourself as anything. It's not linked to anything. That, there is no past to, that creates anything. There is no future that hasn't come. You're deciding it all now by who you are being. This is powerful today. So when you say I've never experienced, or even if you say I have experienced or I experienced, all of that is, cre is created here and now. It's created by your current identity. There is no identity in the past that never experienced something, or there's no identity in the past that has experienced something. There's only your experiencing right here and now. That determines your past, present, and future, all of it. That threads all frames of realities together. That creates your entire life experience or experiences right now. There is no past that you experienced or no past you never experienced. There's only your experiencing here and now. Your experiencing of ultimate reality, that changes reality, is your reality. Past, present, and future here and now. And your self-concept, who you say you are here and now, like scripture says, just say the word, I am, determines your reality in your entire life experience or experiences here and now, it's law. That's why this reality creation technique, especially for this particular um, uh, creator, right, who said that in just a few days, it, their entire life experience took a 180 in the direction of everything that they, they, they want and love. Why? Because their experiencing is the experience and determines the manifested experiences. Those are always changing. That's why. That's why this reality creation technique works so fast, it will shock and amaze you. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio. 
of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter and at Tom Karen and TikTok at Be Something Wonderful or anywhere on social media at either Tom Karen or at Be Something Wonderful, you can find us. <clears throat> and for being part of the membership channel. In just a few days, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, right here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful, we're going to do our six live broadcast, our six live stream right here from the studios where we're going to talk about topics and questions that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. And we're also going to answer questions right on the live chat on the live stream. This will be our sixth live stream this year, our 15th overall, exclusively on the membership channel. So if you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, just check out the link below. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.